right. So this is Project L, right? This is Project L. Project L is like a League of Legends fighter game, fighting game that they've been working on for like the past couple of years, right? It's the demo for it just came out and and they sent out I guess they sent out like review copies to like, you know, professional players or people who's known in the FGC, like Smug, J Wong, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Yipes and all them. If, if y'all even know who this is or know who those people are, because unless you outside of the, unless you inside of the FGC or know who those people are, you're probably not going to know who I'm talking about. But the company that's making the, uh, the fighting game they sent review copies and they had like a little private invite session where they invited all like known YouTubers and like um, known professional fighting game players to play the game. And of course, we didn't really get to see a lot of it, but they're coming out of this session promoting the game as this almost as if it's like the second coming of Christ. The last time this happened was like, I want to say, what, 2017, 2018, or was it 2016 when Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite came out, right? It was, it, was, it was somewhere in between 2016, 2017 when Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite came out, right? When Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite was first announced, they, uh, Capcom invited several professional fighting game players they invited Filipino Champ, L.I. Joe, K. Brad. I think Maximilian was there too. And there was like a, a few other ones that was there. And they had their little private session. Mind you, we didn't get to see none of it. They didn't have no videos of it. It was completely private. But they came out of the session in video. And the videos are still up on YouTube, by the way. Where they was glorifying the game saying it was great, it was amazing. K-Brad was even shown in the video, he was saying, oh, the game is mwah. K-Brad did this, right? A known cami player from Street Fighter. He he was hyping the hell out of this damn game. As well as all the other information names and a few more people. But one of the more infamous moments from that was that an interview with Filipino Champ, he's a known... Uh, you know, Marvel vs. Capcom player and Street Fighter, he mains uh, Dalsum, pr pretty much known as like one of the more offensive Dalsums in, in the FGC. But he was like trying to hype the game up and he said something that was just infamously known. He said that the game is so big and so open world. Mind you, he's saying this about a fighting game. A fighting game. A single two point, you know, two-dimensional plane where one character is on one side and the other one's on the other side and they're going head to head. That's an open world experience, according to Filipino champ. Everybody got on him for that, but regardless though, right? So the game Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite finally releases, right? The game is trash. I'm talking about the game is trash. It barely get, got any play at EVO. And literally, it, it didn't survive no more than a year. Because I believe like a year later, Dragon Ball Fighters came out. And Dragon Ball Fighters gave more of a Marvel vs. Capcom experience than Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And all the players that was playing Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, they moved over to Dragon Ball Fighters. And Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite just died. They didn't have the right DLC characters. Matter of fact, I think one side... I think it was the Marvel side had more characters on it than, than the Capcom side. The character selection screen was plain as hell. The gym system was broken as fuck. Only two gyms in that whole out of, out of the six were like actually viable, which was the space gym and the reality gym. You know, people who wanted to dare to be different, they'll probably use the time gym. But the Mind Stone was completely trash. It was like a close range grab that you can only combo from like a, in, in, into like a second hit uh, hit. It's it, it did good stun, but the range on it was so fucking bad and you couldn't combo from it in, in no other way. It was like you had to do one punch, gym, and then it'll go into the grab. It, it was bad. It, it, it was terrible. But the gym system was so busted that they couldn't 
like it, it just made the game not even playable after a while. So much so that Capcom themselves stopped supporting the damn game. Now, what I'm seeing now that explaining all that, I'm seeing the exact same shit with this Project L crap. The exact same shit. They're, they're, they're overhyping the game. It's a demo. They literally only have like three characters, made, like four characters made right now. Four characters. So you mean to tell me out of a four character demo, everybody's going crazy over this goddamn game. And another feature that, they, that, that they're promoting in the game, right? Let me scroll down to the Sonic Fox tweet. Where the hell is that? Where the hell is that Sonic Fox tweet at? Like, where the hell is it? Oh, damn, I can't find it. Right here. Okay. Sonic Fox said, Project L having easy inputs did not matter. The execution was definitely high. The fact that this came from one of the best Mortal Kombat players is fucking laughable. Having easy inputs don't matter. In the FGC, you know that fighting, when you play fighting games, the characters who are easier to use are always going to be looked down upon. But this is, is, is more on like the competitive side or more like the social side, right? Because if you have a character that's like easy to use and you're good with them, but somebody else picks a character that's more difficult to use and they're good with them, who's the more skillful player? And again, this is coming from a guy who dominated the Mortal Kombat scene from Mortal Kombat 9 all the way to Mortal Kombat 11. He ain't really, I don't, I, don't, I don't remember him being in too many Mortal Kombat 12 tournaments. I think he was, but, you know, Mortal Kombat 11 was like his peak. So I'm looking at all this and I'm just like, bruh, they got Sonic Fox over here doing this shit. And, I, and I'm, I'm making, you know, we're we going to come back to this tweet after the game launches. Remember, I said that. <laughs> and another one, um, I, I kind of mentioned something. So in Project L, right, they have a team based mode, right, where you and another player can be on the same team. Like you can control two characters on your own because the game is like a 2v2. You can control both of the characters on your own or you, you and another person can control each, you know, a character a piece, right? And there's advantages and disadvantages with both, right? Um, I remember when Street Fighter Cross Tekken came out and matter of fact, let me just go to YouTube real quick. Let me see if we can... Let's see. Combo Fiend Mike Ross. Here we go. Running sets. I think this is at Evo. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is at Evo. No excuse. Just your heart. Yeah. Nah, I, I think this is yeah. it. No, this was in it. It was at Evo. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it, it was Evo. Top combo, 2012. Combo starting. Right here. All right, now we're going to watch this whole thing. Remember what I said about Project L having like a two on two environment in that depending on, you know, you can have two players controlling one character each or one person can control both characters on a team. I thought about this. Lap told me to really watch out for infiltration's movement. It's very tricky with this character. Now, some of y'all don't understand what's going on. Combo, Combo Fiend and Mike Ross is on the Combo Fiend getting out of that on the left side. Fast, infiltration and Laugh are on the right side. So Combo Fiend is using Julia. And I think Mike Ross has DJ in this matchup. Perfect. Wow, what a way to start things off. For infiltration and Laugh. And in this matchup, Combo Fiend was getting his ass whipped so damn bad. Not that Mike Ross didn't even get tagged here. in until like and the final, the team mechanics here. like the Mike final match. And I remember the crowd cheering because Combo Fiend was getting his ass whipped so damn much that when he finally tagged in Mike Ross, they was just like happy. And they'll need to get out of it, so he's just gonna go for 
first up. Nice. Maintains wow. the corner. Combo oh, has just been caught. He has not been able to get out yet. A lot to throw off the wall. Oh my gosh, double perfect. Oh my god, really? It's gonna happen? Wow, that wow. was incredible. Mike Ross did not get the play. It was a double perfect to start things off. It's oh by the cross god. second top four. I mean, do they have like this? They're gonna have to consider switching one to combo piece. Okay, I don't think they even showed the camera in this well, video. Gotta, this is just the gameplay. Wow. Hold on, y'all can't see it that good. Hold on, let me move it over. Oh I'm God. just proving a point right now. She has good buttons. Just like, I'm just proving a point. Rolento, very active character, especially with this. Uh, like, right, right now, I'm just style. proving a point. Yeah, just picking the right moment just to jump in there. And there we go. Combo Finally, all right. Forward. Let's go. Combo <laughs> feet. The crowd That's comes alive. Uh-oh. Infiltration coming in now. Saw it wasn't working out, so he backs off. Uh-oh. I don't understand the lunch punch. Yeah, he seems kind of desperate at this I time. think right now, like, they two the up. Range you know, that infiltration is or they one up. And all those jumps have been anti air And Combo Fiend got his ass whipped twice. Wow, he got it. Mike Ross still has not gotten the play. This is the losing bracket. This Mike could Ross be it. They have to consider coming into this match. Wow, you know, you, you can tag yourself Look in Mike Ross. When, your, when your teammate hits the opponent. Oh, boy. I think, I, yeah, exactly. I, Mike I, Ross needs to be pulling it himself in the match. I, I really think so. If I were Mike Ross, as soon as my, my teammate gets the hit on this, I'd be... Here we go. Oh, I would have yeah. been pressing switch. <laughs> it's a good way to really upset your teammate, though. I know. Well, Mike Ross, I'm sure, is not too happy right now. Because they are just getting wow. run okay, down. Okay, here we go. Comfy starting to pop up another lead here. This is almost over. All right, this is exactly what you I think Mike Ross gets tagged in. in the corner. Goes for combos that are, I think this is match point for like uh, either this is match point or this is the second of match point for all. Oh my gosh, and that's a level three. No recoverable life here for combo team. Mike Ross has got to get in there. There it is. There it is. What can Mike do? The crowd roars. Mike and Ross has to remember how to play now. It's been a little while. Three rounds. Here comes Duke. Matched out of DP, it worked. Good choice. And this zoning game is looking very difficult for Mike Ross. Oh, he, he had the crush control, but not the crushing medium. He's so good with that. Oh my gosh, here we go. Cross assault. All right, let's see what they can get on this. They're spending oh all the bars. Oh my gosh. Get right into the super. 25 seconds left on the clock. You have access to all your meters during that. It looks like Mike Ross and Comfrey have a small lead here. OK, look at the time now. It's becoming a factor. Can they run away for the next 14 seconds? Oh, no! Oh. I love that because definitely that's what Infiltration and Lab were expecting. Oh, but it's not enough. Eight seconds. No, I, th I think they're fine. He can literally block. This is so smart from, from Lab. He's building meter because he knows there's no way to come back. Right. You might as well do what you can for the next round. Yeah. Yeah. In her favor. They pretty much got their ass whooped after that, so. That is all. Oh, and laughed off. And look how close that one was to a perfect. Yeah, but Combo Fiend basically fucked their team up. But I see that happening with I see that happening with um Project L a lot. Oh, I remember this one right here. When uh Takedo and um I think that was Laugh. They ended up having a match against uh I, I forgot who those other two guys was, but I guess they were sharing a hotel room and Takedo ended up kicking the dude out <laughs> with a hotel room <laughs> cuz he fucked up in the match. Like it was a game winning, a game winning turn, and he fucked it up. But my point is this, bro. Project L is looking like it's gonna be, like they're hyping the game up too much. It's almost like they're not trying to like just promote it normally. They're trying to make it seem like the greatest thing ever, and because of that, it's not gonna live up to the hype. They did not. It's like they really didn't learn from Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. They didn't learn from Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite because they're doing the exact same shit. They're literally doing the exact same thing. They did not learn from Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Now, I'm pretty sure the company is going to try to make this the best experience that it can. But these people that's promoting the game really got to dial it back because they're going to put the company in a position that they're not going to be able to live up to the height that these people are setting.
Now, I'm pretty sure the company told him to go out there and promote the game, say good things about it. You know, the, the thing is, there's this term called shilling. Hence, hence the reason why I got the hashtag, the shield is real. Shilling is basically when somebody gets paid off to say something nice about something that could be potentially bad in order to generate sales and etc. This is. This is like textbook. And I don't even know if this game is really going to end up being good like that. I'm pretty sure it's going to be appealing, but I don't see it lasting long. I mean, if, if they're hyping it up this much over a four character demo that nobody else really got to see. Matter of fact, I think it was only three characters. They ain't revealed the fourth character yet. Like you're, you're getting hype over a three character. The game isn't even polished and finished. And you're trying to tell me it's just so great. You see where the, you know what I'm saying? It's almost like you're putting too much weight on an unfinished bridge. It's going to collapse. So for the company's sake, I hope it actually turns out to be good. Um, they seem to add it like a team aspect, hence, you know, the reference to uh, League of Legends being a, a team based game. They kind of added an aspect with that, with the um, with, with the two on twos, you know, two people can control a character a piece. But um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm really scratching my head on this one because I don't I, I, I genuinely do not think this game is going to live up to the hype with the way that they're promoting this shit. So, I mean, we'll see. Hopefully I'm wrong. I mean, it's a League of Legends fighting game. I'm hoping that it does good. Uh, but history shows us that anytime, you know, people are paid off in any way to say something nice about a demo of a game that isn't even complete yet, not even remotely complete, It, it spells like it's pretty much just a recipe for disaster. I mean, I understand get your money, but damn, you're trying to tell other people that a game is good so that they can spend their money on it off of your word of mouth. Hey, you notice K Brad ain't said nothing on this game yet, and he was one of the he was one of the known people from the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite bullshit. L I Joe and K Brad, you know, in Filipino champ, they kind of stayed away. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Maximilian didn't learn his lesson yet, but. They went and got everybody else, but we'll see. We'll see how it turns out, but I have no confidence that this game is going to be good. So that's my take on my, uh, Project L. Um, hopefully it actually does what it's supposed to do. But uh, with all this fucking meat riding that they're doing on, on a three character demo and none of the characters are actually finished. Come on, man.